put the spotlight on banking and joining us now is the Chief Financial Officer of State Bank of India, Arundhati Bharacharya. Ma'am, many thanks for joining us on Bloomberg. We have seen last week the measures taken by the Reserve Bank of India to infuse liquidity into the system and to calm the nerves of the bond markets. What has been the impact of these measures on your own bond portfolio? Uh, you know, in the initial phase, when they went about increasing the costing of the MSF, and uh, thereafter, their intention was that they needed to impact only the short end of the, of the curve. But what actually happened, especially after they also declared that they would be auctioning 22,000 crores of uh, CMPs every um, Monday, what happened was the entire curve got affected, and we saw the long end rates going up very, very sharply. That, of course, had an impact on our bond portfolio. Subsequently, of course, you know, as you are aware, Reserve Bank has reversed the stance to some extent. Also, what they have done is they have allowed a movement back to the M2M uh, in respect of those bonds which we had moved out to AFS, expecting a fall in rates. So that has actually helped us a lot. Also, in view of the fact that now they are doing auctions of around 8,000 crores a week, so to that extent also, you know, liquidity seems to be becoming better at the longer end. And we have seen the long end yields fall. Uh, so to that extent, I think the recent steps taken by RBI sure. seems to have met the purposes. The short end is still quite high, but the long end definitely has fallen. <laughs>